On 26 September, Prime Minister Narendra Modi unveiled three Param Rudra supercomputers worth around 130 crore rupees via video conferencing, marking a significant achievement in India's science and technology field and a reflection of the nation's progress in research and development. So what actually is Param Rudra supercomputer and how it will help India? Param Rudra supercomputers are developed indigenously by the Center for Development of Advanced Computing under the National Supercomputing Mission. These supercomputers have been deployed in Pune, Delhi, and Kolkata to support groundbreaking scientific research. The most powerful of these is the one installed at Inter-University Accelerator Center in Delhi, which has three petaflop capacity. These supercomputers will play a crucial role towards making state-of-the-art technology available to young scientists in the country and highlighted its usage in aiding advanced research in the fields of physics, earth sciences, and cosmology. In addition, the computing power available for weather and climate research has been significantly upgraded by the setting up of high-powered computing systems at two atmospheric sciences institutes, one in Pune and another in Noida. ARCA system at Pune has a 11.77 petaflop capacity and will, for the first time, help improve the country's horizontal resolution of its global weather prediction models to 6 kilometers from the existing 12 kilometers. HPC Arunika comes with an 8.24 petaflop capacity. This HPC will prove beneficial in upgrading weather forecast resolution at block levels. The country is also taking the lead in quantum computing, where the National Quantum Mission is playing a crucial role in advancing India's position in this cutting-edge technology. If we talk about the National Supercomputing Mission, it was launched in 2015 to connect national academic, research and development institutions with a grid of high-performance computing facilities. It is jointly managed by the Department of Science and Technology and the Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology and implemented by the Center for Development of Advanced Computing in Pune and the Indian Institute of Science in Bengaluru. The mission aims at creating a powerful supercomputing capability for the country and offer powerful computational facilities to boost research. Solve this MCQ based on this video which of the following statements is correct regarding the Paramrudra supercomputers? A. The Paramrudra supercomputers are developed by an international collaboration and are primarily used in commercial sectors. B. The Paramrudra supercomputers are developed by the Center for Development of Advanced Computing under the National Supercomputing Mission. C. The most powerful Paramrudra supercomputer is located in Kolkata and has a capacity of 5 petaflops. D. The primary function of the Param Rudra supercomputers is to support business applications and data processing in urban areas. Comment your answer.